Good afternoon. I'm Kati Tong in for Jody Applegate. Our top story today, the fallout from a vicious high school teacher attack. When one teacher attacked another with a screwdriver, it was a student who broke up the fight. Mario Diaz has a reaction from students and neighbors. But first, Kirsten Cole had the whole thing reenacted for her by the heroic teenager who pulled the teachers apart. Kirsten. Yeah, Kaidi, it's not unusual to hear about violence in the schools these days, but rare is it when we hear about teacher-on-teacher -teacher violence, and that's exactly what happened at Poughkeepsie High School yesterday morning. In between third and fourth period, two teachers in the hallway, one screwdriver, one now in the hospital with 16 stab wounds. I saw Ms. Rick and just, you know, just, you know, hammering her in the back side of her head. Poughkeepsie High School senior Justin Richardson stepped into the line of fire yesterday as one teacher was stabbing another in the hallway. I just saw a lot of blood, so I was... It was, it was shocking for me, too. The six foot, 220 pound champion linebacker didn't stop to think, just did what he's trained on the football field to do. And I had to, you know, really knock, really knock um, Ms. Ricketts really hard to get the screwdriver out of her hand. If I didn't step in as when I can, I, th I believe she would have killed her. Many here say it looked like 40 year old Ronette Ricketts was intent on killing 50 year old Cynthia Glozier as Ricketts stabbed her. 16 times in the head, neck, and chest with an 8-inch screwdriver. The attack was captured on surveillance video, now in police possession. From the first time we attempted to speak to her, she requested an attorney, and she uh, refused to speak. Glozier is still in the hospital recovering, awaiting additional CAT scans to assess the deep puncture wounds. It wasn't two teachers arguing or anything like that. It was one teacher who attacked another teacher. Principal Edgar Glasscott said teachers, students, and faculty are all in shock as both of the teachers were extremely well liked. Ricketts' defense attorney said students packed the courtroom this morning to show their support of her. Sources tell PIX11 that Ricketts feared she was about to be fired. There's no uh, indication of that anywhere. Um, that she know, was going to be fired? Absolutely. So Ricketts spent the night in jail last night. Everybody around town and in the hallways of the school just say it appears as though she just snapped. Her family, though, is pooling all of their resources, coming from as far away as the West Coast to come up with $50,000 in bail. Her defense attorney has told me she has already been called to appear before a grand jury on Tuesday. And Mario, what they're saying right now is she's been charged with second-degree assault, attempted first-degree assault, but those charges may be upgraded, according to sources. And